really glad that you're taking this opportunity to join us today um, and learn more about Daytona State College, your state college. And the format of today is going to be, uh, we're going to go through the presentation first, then we'll be opening up for questions and answers. And just so you know, this video, this webinar is being recorded. So with that, we will go ahead and get started. So welcome to Daytona State College. You may know that we serve the Volusia and Blagra County area, but we have beautiful campuses in Daytona Beach at the Advanced Technology College, the News Journal Center, the Deltona Campus, Deland Campus, New Smyrna Beach Campus, Flagler Palm Coast Campus, and of course online. Everyone is really, really into online studies right now, so we have a very robust online presence also. So why should you choose Daytona State College? We are regionally accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and we serve about uh, 25 to 30,000 students a year. And what this accreditation means is that your instruction is of the highest quality, and you always want to look for a regionally accredited school, and that also helps with transferring credits, uh, because you know that the education that you receive at Daytona State College is going to be equivalent to your transfer school. At Daytona State College is an open access institution, so we have programs for everyone. So we have vocational programs for students who may not have earned their high school diploma or GED yet, as well as college credit programs and bachelor's level programs. We don't have an application fee. We don't require any essays or anything like that for admissions. And many students may be exempt from placement testing, so we help make sure that you get into the right programs and right classes to help you be successful. What are some of the advantages of Daytona State? We offer instruction in the traditional 15-week semesters, as well as accelerated seven-week semesters. Right now, all of our instruction is online, but we are going to be phasing back in hybrid and face-to-face -face classes. We do have smaller class sizes, and of course, convenient locations make it easier for you to sign up and attend your classes. So let's talk money and value. Daytona State makes financial sense. Our cost per credit hour for an in-state student is only $103 per credit. If you compare that to a Florida public university, they're over double. And if you look at a private university, they can be 12 or 13 times the cost. And it really adds up over four years. At Daytona State, you can get a bachelor's degree for about $14,000, whereas at a private institution, you could be up $150,000, $160,000. And we do offer financial aid and scholarships are available. And we encourage everyone to apply for financial aid and scholarships to help make your education more affordable. So what's new at Daytona State? We are very excited. We have a new bachelor's degree coming on this fall, our Bachelor of Science in Accounting. Um, our bachelor's degrees are designed as two plus two degrees, so students who have already earned their associate degree can apply into the bachelor's programs. We also have an additive manufacturing specialization in the Associate of Science of Engineering Technology. That's a fancy way of saying 3D printing, and it's very exciting if you see it out at our ATC Center. We have uh, expanded our surgical technology program to be an associate of science degree. We also just in spring opened our optician technology degree. We have a new risk management and insurance specialization, as well as we earned a very high accreditation, the ABET accreditation for our Bachelor of Science in, in, in Information Technology program. And if you have been by our Daytona Beach campus in the last several months or year, you have seen the construction of our new L. Gail Lemoran Student Center. We are very excited with this building. We have our cafeteria and food commons on the first floor. We have our academic support center, our writing center, our library, our student life offices in this building. And it is an absolute wonderful place for our students to be able to refresh, get additional tutoring or instruction that they may want, or just hang out if they'd like. We are a, a 
comprehensive college. We offer a lot of different sports. You'll see our men's sports. We have basketball, baseball, soccer, and cross country. And our women's sports, basketball, volleyball, softball, golf, soccer, and cross country. And in addition to these athletic teams, the competitive teams, we also have intramural sports. So what programs can you study here at Daytona State? We offer, we offer over 100 different programs, and we're always expanding those as we're responding to needs in the community. So we have our certificate programs that are one year or less. We have over 50 different professional certifications. They can be college credit or vocational. And some of the credits can apply to higher degrees if you'd like to apply them to transfer them up to an associate degree. In terms of two-year programs, we have our Associate of Arts and our Associate of Science. Both of these can continue into four-year bachelor's degrees. And with your Associate of Arts, you're guaranteed admission as a junior into a Florida public university. And in addition to that, we have articulation agreements with several different private schools um, and other public schools. We've got our Direct Connect to UCF, our University of Florida articulation, Embry-Riddle, Stetson, and many more universities. And our four-year programs with the introduction of our Bachelor of Science in Accounting, we now have 12. And some of these programs can be completed totally or partially online. So the associate degree, what exactly is it? Generally, there are about 60 credits. If you go full-time, they take about two years. And the Associate of Arts is designed to be the university transfer degree. So you will focus on your general education classes as part of this program. And your advisors here at Daytona State will work with you to tailor your electives towards your desired major plus the requirements at your transfer school. And the Associate of Science is designed as our occupational degree. So you are focusing on being able to do a job at the end of that two years for your associate degree. Um, although you can transfer on, the main focus of that is to get you out to work in a skilled profession. I mentioned earlier, we're very happy to be a Direct Connect to UCF partner. Um, with the uh, proper guidance from both our academic advising as well as the success coaches at, at University of Central Florida, um, we can guarantee your admission into the program once you complete your degree here. And also, we're very happy to have our, our articulation with the University of Florida's College of Agricultural and Life Sciences. So students who complete certain degrees here with their AA are guaranteed admission into the UF College of Agricultural and Life Sciences. And some of you who are football buffs, Tim Tebow actually graduated from that college. So your success at Daytona State is so important to us, and we are going to be with you the whole time that you're here. And we have all of our support services available to virtually. Um, they're all available now for all of our students. And then once we start phasing back into campus, they're also available in person. So as I mentioned, we have a writing center on all of our campuses. We offer tutoring, academic support, libraries, supplemental instruction, and our teachers are very hands-on and they all have office hours to help you. So what is the enrollment timeline? Generally, the college application window opens about one year ahead of time. So that right now we are accepting uh, applications for summer 2020, fall 2020, and spring 2021. And we will need transcripts from your high school as well as any colleges or universities you've attended. And they should be submitted as soon as they're available. But please remember, if you're in high school right now, wait until your graduation posts. And that's usually towards the end of June. So you want to make sure that the, everything is final and that all of your coursework shows final grades. And also, we encourage everyone to apply for financial aid early. And right now, we're in the middle of two financial aid years. So if you're coming in for summer, you're going to fill out the 2019-2020 FAFSA. And if you are coming for fall, then you'll fill out the 2020-21 FAFSA. And remember, you do have to do a new FAFSA every year. 
So in general, the steps to enrollment involve applying from our website, applying for financial aid. If you're required to take an assessment, do so. Um, complete your online orientation. Meet with an academic advisor and register for classes. And again, we are here virtually to help you with all of the steps. So your first thing you're going to do is apply online at our DaytonaState.edu. And there's a link at the top that says Apply Now. That will bring you to the application for admissions. And there are two steps to the application. The first step is to create a unique username and password that is only for this application. And step two is to log in and actually complete the application. And this is what those screens are going to look like. The left-hand side is what your account creation page is going to look like. And then after you save it and log in, then you're going to come over to what shows on the right side of your screen, which shows the different sections. And you'll want each section to get a green check mark, and then you'll know that it's complete, and you'll be able to submit it. So we are here for you, as I mentioned before. Um, we may not be on our campuses, but we are available by telephone, by email, and during certain hours by live chat from our website. So I want to thank you so much for joining us today. At this point, we're going to flip over to our question and answer session where you'll be able to ask your questions. So while we're doing that, I just want to let you know that we do have a whole series of webinars planned. So tomorrow at 2.30, we are going to be having a health careers webinar. And on Thursday at 10 a.m., we're going to be having a Daytona State Next Steps webinar. And that's everything that happens. It guides you through the enrollment process and tells you what to expect and basically what areas you're going to be talking to as you're getting registered. And you can see the whole schedule and register for the webinars at daytonastate.edu slash admissions slash webinars. So now we'll see if we have any questions. Um, as I mentioned, the registration for summer and fall is currently open. We do have a summer B session that's going to be starting on June 29th, and our fall semester will be starting on August 24th. And there is still plenty of time to get admitted and registered and enrolled and get your financial aid. We just encourage everyone to do that early. Hey, Karen, I see that we have several guests uh, in the uh, list here. Just want to make sure that everyone knows that the Q&A section is at the bottom of your presentation screen. You may have to hit a tab that says Q&A in order to bring that up, and then you'll see the box where you can ask us any question. And I see that our first question came in, what is supplemental instruction? This is actually a free service that is part of our academic support center where you will be able to go in and work with faculty and tutors in the respective field or class that you are in. They may have in-person guidance as well as group guidance and now, of course, virtual guidance. But again, it's designed to give you a little bit more in interaction and additional depth and, um, and access to the material in the course. And some of our programs um, that we offer, of course, I mentioned our bachelor's degrees. We have our Bachelor of Applied Science in Supervision and Management, which also offers a hospitality concentration if wanted. We have seven Bachelor of Science in, in Education degrees, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Technology, Information Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. <coughs> Excuse me, I see we have another question. Um, I'm awaiting the release of my transcripts from my former high school in Washington, D.C. However, in view of COVID-19, the schools in D.C. are closed. 
I've been accepted, but the transcripts appear to be only the only missing link. So what is the deadline for receiving your transcripts? That's a very good question. For admissions purposes, you have until the end of your first semester. So if you're coming in for fall, that means you have until December to turn them in. But that's only for admissions purposes. So you can go ahead and complete the registration process, start your classes, and you are you're good on that regard. Now, if you're applying for federal financial aid, they do have different guidelines and rules. They will not be able to make a financial aid disbursement until those transcripts are in. So it is important to check with your schools to try to get things done. I know here in Florida, even though our schools are closed, the public schools, most of them are working remotely and we are getting transcripts in daily from, from all over the country. And let's see, I was talking about our bachelor's degrees, but just in general, uh, the other programs and things that we have, as I mentioned, the over 100, um, we have technical industrial and industrial programs such as drafting, database, technology, networking systems, um, lots of computer science types of programs, business, business programs, music and arts programs, health careers and public services, and then, as I mentioned, some vocational programs such as automotive, HVAC, um, barbering, cosmetology. We just have a whole lot of different programs. You can see all of these from our website on DaytonaState.edu. Hey, Karen. Yes. It's Beth from, I work with Karen in the admissions office. Um, I see that we had another question about the cost of attendance to D, um, for DSC. And I just want to give a little shout out to Stephanie. I will personally reach out to her after I see, she's asking some personal questions about her account. And after this, I will send her an email um, to kind of address those the very specific to her case questions. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that because I did not see the questions that came in below. So I'm glad that you were on it. Oh, and the cost to attend Daytona State is 100. If you're an in-state tu tu student for tuition purposes is $103 per credit hour. And again, we thank you so much for joining us today. It has been a pleasure. Um, and please don't hesitate to give us a call or email us. The admissions phone number is 386-506-3642. And we are here Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Fridays during the summer only from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. You can also email us at admissions at daytonastate.edu. Or as I mentioned, you can do live web chat from our website. Just go on to our admissions page and a little chat box will come up. And you again can, can web chat with us during office hours. So we'll leave the Q&A up for just a moment more. And see if any of my helpers find any other questions that I di didn't see. All right, well, thank you again so much for joining us. It has really been a pleasure and we hope to see you back tomorrow. Um, and again, that will be tomorrow, the 20th Wednesday um, at 2.30 for our health careers. So thank you and have a great day.